Coloring your gray hair with henna can be difficult and a real struggle for some people. We have so many people coming to us saying that no matter what, their grays just won't get covered. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Renee Barnett's video on two-step process that she did with henna and indigo to color her grays. And you know what the best part is? It's her first time doing it. So let's get into it. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be dyeing my hair with henna and indigo to cover up my gray hairs and color my hair jet black. This is another Ayurvedic hair care treatment that I'm trying out. It's a two-step process that if done right can help with the health and strength of your hair, meaning longer, stronger strands. If you wanna see how I mix and apply my henna, stick around. It's your girl Renee Barnett and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So to color my hair, I will be using henna powder, aloe vera powder, and apple cider vinegar. I started by measuring out my henna with a spoon, but then I quickly realized that I actually need to use the whole bag because I want to color my entire head and not just the gray area around the perimeter of my head. We're rocking henna! <laughs> I love it! Oh, my favorite. My favorite! So next, I add in some apple cider vinegar, just a little bit at a time. Now this is my first time actually coloring my hair with henna and indigo. So in order to get the right consistency, I'm going slow. I'm adding in just a little bit of apple cider vinegar at a time and then stirring so I can get the right mix. So the consistency is supposed to be similar to a yogurt texture. Guys, just as an FYI, you can also use distilled water or black tea to mix your henna, I just decided to use apple cider vinegar as it was one of the options on the back of the packet. Exactly, I love me some aloe vera powder and she's Moroccan henna, you know, I'm already so excited. I know you saw my face um, and it's mm, so exciting. If you want, you can add light baking, the dry ingredients like the henna and the aloe in the beginning if you want and just keep mixing it, adding your liquid slowly, but even if you don't and you add it right now when she is that that's fine too it doesn't mess it up it's just i guess in my mind i like to bake and cook so i kind of always feel like dry ingredients together blend them really well and then add your liquid that's just my mindset and i treat you know henna and treatments kind of like that you know even the way we do that at henna soap you know the way that we set up our production is like a kitchen basically you know it's a mini production kitchen of for you know makers and making all these amazing products but let's let's keep watching though <laughs> So aloe helps to add moisture back to your hair. When used alone, henna can be very drying to the hair, especially if you already have dry hair like mine. So I added in about two tablespoons of the aloe vera powder and I'm continuing to add in my apple cider vinegar until once again, I get that yogurt consistency. So just be careful and don't add too much liquid so that you don't end up making a mess and having runny henna dye all down your elbows. Now you can see that my consistency is creamy. It's the texture that I think is perfect for me to apply to my hair. So I'm going to let it sit for about maybe like two hours before applying it to my hair. That's what the directions say. She is on point. Okay. This is good. And I'm glad she showed you the grays beforehand because I know you guys are always asking like, can I have before and after shots? I wish I could provide you all with that, but you know what I need from you guys in order to make those before and after shots happen? You guys need to send them in. I need to have that content so I can show people the before and after. Stay tuned too, because we have an amazing brand ambassador program, a new one with a lot of bonuses and incentives. So you, you, if you are watching and you're interested in earning additional stream of income from, you know, recommending henna stuff like she's using henna soap products right here and you want to get those incentives and bonuses you definitely have to watch out for that's coming soon as soon as we launch the new website so guys it's been two hours and my henna is ready to apply so i'm gonna try and apply it with this little brush i'm gonna start in the front of my head to definitely cover up these little grays right here but basically starting in the front and working my way to the back also make sure you use gloves because henna and indigo will stain your fingers now i'm just applying the henna with my little fancy brush to my roots and my edges and okay see 
this okay no now I'm just I'm gonna use my fingertips because this is not working out like I had planned so guys every time I leave one section of my hair I think that I've covered the gray hair and somehow they managed to pop back through the henna exactly and she is again she is way on point <laughs> Renee where have you been I, I don't know how I didn't even see this video as yet I love it you did such a great I mean that's exactly what's really important about those grays. Those grays, if your hair is short and those grays are short and they're along your hairline, all of those things, right? They can be really hard to color. It's like they just pop back out. Like literally, you think you layer them like down and you put it all down. And you're like, okay, it's in the henna. It is drowned, right? Sometimes they're just like, no, we're not. We're here and too bad. We want to be gray. We want to free the gray. <laughs> gray hairs basically. <laughs> you guys have to really drown those grays and go back over it sometimes because they got exactly what Renee says. It's the truth. So I'm applying the henna as close to my roots as possible and then working the henna down the strands of my hair. So my hair is pretty saturated and I definitely recommend using your fingers to apply the henna. And look at those gloves. You see that color? And she, they were pink and they're like way orange, like wow. So now that I'm all done, I'm just gonna apply the plastic cap to my hair. Mm. And the henna is supposed to stay in your hair for about two to four hours. I'm also gonna wrap my hair with saran wrap so that the henna does not get dry. And then I'm just gonna place my bonnet over my hair. Good, great, great technique on wrapping to keep it really okay so i have washed the henna out and it appears that my gray hair is gone it is now a copper color now my hair does have a faint reddish tone if you look close you can you can kind of see the red tone but i don't even mind the red color but i do want to try the indigo so that is going to be the next step you know what i would have liked to ask renee if you had any tips on washing it out do you have a very strong shower head how did you find the washout process. That would be a really good question. I get that question a lot, you know, especially when you're using, that's 100 grams of henna all in your hair. I would love, if you're watching Renee, let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, even when I look at my part, I mean, there are no grays anywhere. I am so excited, yes. <laughs> I am not even annoyed that you can see the red. Okay, yes. Yeah, her hair is so beautiful. Look at that. That's amazing. This is a great video, Renee. Wow. And when you guys are thinking about how to film, really look at how a lot of people film and the details and the process that that's what we're looking at in our henna sook. You know, good lighting, details, before and after. You know, we need to see, you know, all of that because you know, we're all learning together and we need to really focus on those details. Now I'm going to mix my indigo powder and I'm using the entire bag. The direction also says to mix in one to two tablespoons of salt. So the salt is supposed to help the indigo bind to the hair strands. Now I have heard of people saying that the indigo didn't take well and the salt is actually supposed to help with that problem. I also use warm distilled water and you're not supposed to use any other type of liquid. Other types of liquid can inhibit the dye release. Optionally though, you could add, I'm not sure she maybe I'm jumping ahead and we haven't got to that point yet, but you can add aloe vera to, the, to a whole package of uh, indigo. It's like one to two teaspoons and that's going to help it stay moisturized and it will not affect the color like it won't you know, inhibit that. So that's the only other ingredient you can add basically. So after letting this sit for about 30 minutes, it is ready to apply. And guys, I went through the same exact steps. I wish, I wish Renee, you paused to show people the dye. Like when you covered up a paper towel, you saw that bluish tone, you guys can rewind and look back. You know, see that? We need to pause on that. Pause on that bluish on that. That's the color coming out. That's dye release of applying it from roots to ends over my entire head and I covered my hair with a shower cap and then saran wrap and a bonnet and I let it sit for four hours and the results look amazing like my gray hairs are gone my hair is now jet black which is exactly what I wanted 
Now it did make my curls just a tad bit loose, but I am not even mad with these curls being looser, okay? That means probably less stress of detangling my hair. So no more grays anywhere, not on my edges, not in my part. My hair is nice and shiny. Guys, this worked out so good. And for those of you um, that don't want any loosening, you're watching this and this is not exactly your hair type, your curl type or just basically you don't want loosening, don't worry. You can do other treatments to maintain those curls. So I highly recommend that you watch any and all of our videos that we have with Amla and Zysophis as well, because those um, herbs, those two herbs will help define and maintain curls. So those are really good treatments that you could do in between coloring. Because once you do your color, right, it's only every four to six weeks. You're like, what do I do in between? We've got to think about those treatments and those care and, you know, all the maintenance steps. So, and if you're curious to learn more about in between maintenance, we have a whole complete henna hair dyeing regimen right on our website and a lot of regimen treatments that you can choose from like five or six other ones that you can do in between coloring your hair. So that was really, really great. I really love that. So what did you guys think? See, like it was not even as difficult as sometimes that we think, you know, it gets a little overwhelming, you know, yeah, you gotta time things a little bit and you know, you could do a henna one day and then indigo the next day, but the overall health and care for your hair that you're giving it only every four to six weeks, you know, um, and you could do a root touch up in between if your grays really do grow quickly in between. But this is a great video. I really love this. This is a great guide. I really highly recommend that you guys do two step in this process. Uh, if you do have a lot more gray, then I definitely want you to watch our stubborn ray videos that we have right here at Hannah Sub. You know, so definitely watch those and uh, you know, stay tuned for more videos. We have so much coming up. I'm always throwing new stuff at you guys because we are in a huge transitional year and if you have been trying to see some behind the scenes i've been showing you guys what the new bottles look like oh pixies the new bottles and the packaging so slowly but surely we are just we're just making it happen so and the new space in columbia maryland the new website it's like literally in the next few weeks you're going to see a lot going on so and subscribe to youtube don't, don't want to miss that subscribe get the latest and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing and i'm gonna see you next time guys take care bye <laughs>